guys, welcome back to another video. Oh my God, we have moved. We have moved and we are here and we are happy. It was definitely time for a change. We only lived in our old house for six months. We just realized the area wasn't for us and we definitely needed more room for like guests and a nursery and our son Cade, he's 16, he needs his own room as well. So we just definitely needed a better space and this is so much more better suited for us. So we are extremely happy. We're still in the works of unpacking and getting every room situated as we go, but so far so good. We are so happy and I am currently 30 weeks pregnant. Here's a little bump date. This is our little baby girl. She's growing so fast and she's very, very, very active. The nursery is slowly coming together as well. So that's a relief. And yeah, just like I said, every room little by little is getting sorted. There was some unfortunate news for the nursery. So stay tuned for that. I'll cover that in a little bit. But for the time being, this is our current living situation. Got a nice beautiful kitchen um like i said there's still definitely some parts being moved around the house and some things being finalized we did receive michael's business partner was very 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 generous and purchased the stroller and car seat that we wanted the combo it's the nuna pippa rx travel system so i'm so 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 excited to unbox that i will probably have a video for like nursery unboxings and things like that but i'm gonna wait to unbox that and there's a reason why. Our nursery, I started getting things together and I was so excited because all I wanna do day and night is nest. And our nursery furniture had finally been delivered. However, upon opening the box for the dresser, it was already broken and it is 200 pounds and I cannot help Michael move it and it is upstairs in the middle of the nursery. So until we can have someone come over and help Michael move it downstairs and we are just gonna give it away for free. The company is sending us a new dresser. So that's in the works as well, but because of the location of the current broken dresser, we can't really move forward in, with anything in the nursery. So we can't even build the crib. I can't build the stroller. I can't get myself organized. I'm very much itching to get the ball rolling with that. So like I said, one thing at a time and it'll all come together. I'm trying to be very patient. So let me show you the current state of the nursery. It's just so unfortunate because I had so many plans for the dresser and like the dresser itself is beautiful. It's just unfortunate that it did come broken. I'm really excited for the new one to come in. This is the current state of our nursery. It's not great. This is the dresser. It is by Nurture and I, the dresser itself is gorgeous. I'm actually really happy with my product and company choice with that. The crib is also matching. We also have the changing topper for the dresser, but this was the issue with the dresser. The front leg was completely broken off once we opened the box. Very unfortunate, but I did get around to building the bassinet a few days prior to the furniture arriving. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm officially 33 weeks pregnant already. I don't know where the time is going, but here's a quick little bump date. Baby girl is doing good. Luckily, I'm still feeling really good so far throughout the pregnancy. I've said it before, but I've gotten really lucky. I've been feeling good. I've had a good amount of energy. And in my last video, I did reference the gestational diabetes diagnosis and so far so good. I've been able to regulate that with dieting. And so my doctor is super happy with that. So that's going great. One less thing to worry about, but we were finally able to have our baby shower this past weekend on January 27th. It was such a great success and I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day. It was a lot of work, but everything went great. The family, the friends, everyone showed up and we just feel so grateful that our baby girl is already so low. And my parents came down from Canada to spend time with us as well throughout the baby shower and kind of help us. And also just for them to be a part of the day. It was, it was really special and beautiful. So I'm really happy they could be here. The new house has been such a blessing. It really does feel like home now. And I could totally picture us bringing baby girl home here. Let me show you the gift situation. We did have a registry on babylist.com. And so a lot of the gifts were already sent to our house directly prior to the baby shower. And unexpectedly so, I wasn't expecting that many gifts, but we still got quite a fair amount of gifts brought to us at the baby shower. So let me show you the current situation with that so far. So this is actually a Barnes and Nobles 
gift that I bought for baby girl myself. We do have, as you can see, some <laughs> diapers over there that just don't fit on the table anymore. Definitely, I already unwrapped a lot of it. This is kind of the situation. I haven't brought any of these upstairs yet, so I'm gonna do that today and kind of get that situated. Um, this was a custom crate that one of my good friends made. It is absolutely stunning. She has these adorable little Nikes right here. Aren't those so precious? And this is baby girl's name. We are calling her McKenna, so there's the name reveal, I guess. But just the most beautiful, beautiful crate. And she even made us a birth stat sign for her. I already bought one of these, but this one's actually a lot nicer than the one that I bought. So I'll probably end up taking this one to the hospital. But yeah, just like a plethora of gifts. I will probably just go through these today with you guys. Through some gifts and some things that we've also bought ourselves because we do have quite a bit of stuff that I feel like I've accumulated. I'm going to take all of this upstairs and I'll also show you the situation in the nursery right now. I know in the previous clip you kind of saw the mess that the nursery was. It's a little bit better, but it needs some work. So this week is definitely going to be a nursery prep week. So let's go. All right. So here we are in the nursery. I did install a baby gate just to keep the doggos out, but because I like to keep the door open just because I feel like the temperature regulates a lot better. So this is the current state. I just brought all the gifts and diapers up here but this is the current state of the nursery. I know last time I showed you guys that we had a broken dresser. Luckily, my dad was able to fix it. We are not going to use it in this room. They are sending us a new one, but my dad was able to fix it. And so we actually put it in our room because we were in need of a dresser anyways. And he fixed it so that the leg would at least stand up and he kind of made it so that both sides look the same with those plates. And this uh, changing table actually didn't fit in the dresser topper that I got for the nursery. So it was either I return this one or I use it in our room. And I figured we're gonna spend the first few weeks in our room and just having it in here might actually make my night changes and feeds a lot easier. So now we have one in our room as well, which isn't bad. So this is the dresser topper and we have the crib here as well which we are going to build this week so the new dresser is actually coming in tomorrow so we'll be able to set that up i think i'm going to put it on this side of the room and then i'm going to put the crib just over here on this side okay i'm going to do my best to show you guys maybe not everything but majority of what i got at least like the bigger things or some more exciting things or i don't know baby monitor that we chose is the nanit we got the the tall floor stand and then we also were able to get the travel little stand as well so that we could just take this portion off and then take that with us when we travel so that we can have our baby monitor on the go. I did a lot of research. This is just my personal preference. And so we were really excited about this one. And then we also, we really wanted to try the Hatch Rest Plus. I really like these sound machine features as well as like the nightlight feature for nighttime changes. We also got the Boppy nursing pillow as well as the Lalo high chair. Again, this is this one was kind of expensive, but we opted for this one because it just seemed like a higher quality and it look, just looks so soft, kind of aesthetic as well. We also got the Ubi diaper pail as well as this Maxi Cozy bouncer. I think this is just the cutest bouncer on the market. Also got the Toddle Kind Baby Organic Luxe Mat. Really just into these neutral colors, as you can tell. This one I think we're gonna use for downstairs when we are doing tummy time or anything like that. We can kind of set that down in the living room downstairs for her to play. And of course we had to get the Snuggle Me Infant Lounger. I got it in this like rosish color. This is most of everything laid out. I'm gonna do my best to kind of go through it all. All right, let's start with blankies. We have a Cloud Island plush stroller blankie. We have another soft pink plush blankie with hearts on it, so cute. And then our friends got us this custom blankie as well with her name and middle name, McKenna Isabella. Isn't that cute? And we also got a little giraffe blankie. I kinda wanna unravel this one. How cute is that? And then another plush blankie with some butterflies on it. And then I also have this blankie from, this one was actually from my mom. And then I also have the one that's hanging on the bassinet. So she's definitely not short on blankets. One of the things that I think we're gonna be short on is swaddles as of right now. So I'll definitely have to go buy some more 
swaddles. So right now we have this swaddle. It's the Luxe Muslin Swaddle. Ooh, this is such a soft, soft material. Very cute pattern on it as well. And this is the other one from Quincy May. This was a gift from a close friend of mine. And she said that she is obsessed with that brand. And she definitely thinks that I'm going to be purchasing a lot from them. <laughs> Just because of their color palette. Very, very soft. These, and apparently Quincy May does have all organic cotton. Beautiful, beautiful swaddle as well. I think I have one more somewhere, just not sure where. But we also have a cocoon swaddle bag that was gifted to us from my sister-in-law. This is zero to three months. This was on my registry. Oh wow, these are nice. Very, very cute. So this is a swaddle bag. So we got one swaddle bag, two swaddles. And we also have some toys. I actually bought this yesterday at Barnes and Nobles. It's an activity cube. An ocean activity cube. Octopus there. You have a little crab with the mirror. Got a little starfish on top. A little seashell that squeaks. A sea turtle that when you pull the tail vibrates. I just thought this was really cute. And I also got her a cute little car um, with the crunchy texture as well as a book with that same crunchy texture little activity book for her and then she was also gifted this adorable teether from Ro lollipop this wooden teether very very cute and another teether as well a little rattle and i might need scissors to open these but <laughs> a cute little mushroom toy mitt a little play mitt for her so she's got some toys she also has a little disney bunny also some books. This was on our registry, the first hundred box set. So it does come with three books. We have the first hundred animals. We have the first colors and shapes and the first hundred words as well. Another book here, If I Were a Butterfly. I think this is the cutest little colors. Adorable. And then my friend got me some new mama's affirmation cards, which we all know how being a new mom can be hard. Um, I am about to find out. <laughs> it's all these little cute little cards. It says, I got this. And on the other side, it says, yes, you do. You have overcome so many challenges and yet here you are. Even now you're looking for ways to aid you in becoming a better version of yourself. You got this. So if ever you need a little pick-me-up, some little affirmation cards. A friend of ours gifted us this Smart Parents book. It's written by a doctor and it's just kind of a plethora of information. It doesn't go too far in depth into anything specific, but it does kind of give you basic knowledge on different types of things like, like different types of rashes and allergies and things that can help your baby or your child. And then two more cute books from that custom crate I was showing. And a cute little giraffe toy as well. This was on my registry. Oh, it's so... Oh, my dogs are gonna hate that. This one will be even more for show. And then when it comes to bathing, we chose the Angel Care little... I don't even know what you call this. Little Angel Care seat. Um, this is gonna fit in our kitchen sink. Good for the bath or the sink. We're also gifted this uh, blooming bath. I don't know, it's like a petal thing, I guess. It's like soft. Baby girl hates that one. We could try this one or we could put them both together, but we got we got options. Then we have some Burt's Bees washcloths. There's um, six in each of these packs. And we were also gifted a couple more, a couple more with, these ones actually come with cute little hooded towels. So she's covered in washcloths, that's for sure. And then a cute little brush set for her. And we have some Boone baby bottles, as well as a few Philips Avent bottles. I got a tall one and a short one. We're definitely gonna need some more baby bottles. I was re-gifted some glass Avent baby bottles. I just need to buy the nipples for it. We got one more diaper caddy. I already have one out that I think one of them's gonna go upstairs and then one of them can go downstairs so that there's less back and forth. We can have diapers and wipes ready on the go throughout the house. So just to make our lives easier. And then I also have some sheet sets. 
So these are from Lulu Joe. Very, very cute sheets. And then I also bought the a two pack of sheets from Newton Baby. We bought the Newton mattress. So I saw their crib sheet options and so I decided to just snag a set. So we have this cute little pattern from Newton Baby as well as just plain white sheets as well. And then we were also gifted the, the Yoga Sleep Hush. This is just basically a travel sound machine. It has like, I think three different types of sounds. Also came with a travel case. This will be nice to have just in the stroller, honestly, like on the go. And we also have some different types of pacifiers. I'm sure we'll be buying more of these. I know babies can be picky and sometimes they hate certain brands or certain types. So we got a starter kit and then hopefully she'll like some of them. <laughs> and then we got some cute pacifier clips. Definitely be buying more of these. A bunch of burp cloths. I just have to go back to these Nikes because they are so dang cute. Like, hello, she's gonna be more stylish than me. And then I also, I bought her these cute little vans. My husband and I love wearing vans. And I got her these little, I think these are the smallest sizes they had. So like a newborn size type deal. But these are just so adorable, I couldn't say no, so. Oh, we got this cute little ceiling hanger mo mobile type situation here. Um, this is on my registry, this is gifted to us. It's just the cutest colors. These are all like handmade, so cute. So I can't wait to hang this in the corner of her room, it's gonna be so cute. And then we also have Tula Explorer Baby Carrier. I did a little bit of research and this just seemed like really good quality. This is the one we chose. Got some really thick, comfortable straps, but it's like soft, soft material. And then that's where baby will go. It kind of loops around your waist. I just can't go to get over the softness of this material. And I also love that there is a little <laughs> pouch right here. So if I'm taking a walk or something, I could just put my keys or my phone in there and just let's go for my little walk. We also got this car seat canopy by Little Unicorns. It's like soft cotton. And also this um, baby feeder. So you can freeze some food or fruit or anything like that and put it in here and she can kind of feed herself. These are activity cards from Curious Baby. I saw these online and I just thought they were such a great concept. These are developmentally focused baby and me activities for parents and caregivers. So these are just fun little activities that you can do with baby. So for example, it'll tell you the age range in the top corner. And this one says baby sit ups and this is for physical and gross motor skills. And then this one is zero to 36 months. And these are focused on speech and language development for infants and toddlers. And one of our friends is a graffiti artist and he made us a custom gift for her. This is probably the most creative piece of like custom art I've personally received. It says, Baby McKenna, hope your life is as bright and joyful as I tried to make this painting. So we're definitely going to be hanging this on the wall. This is so cute, well thought out, and just... Just a thoughtful, creative gift. Like, how beautiful is that? Look at those vibrant colors, the gradient from pink to white to purple on her name. I just, I can't. Oh, I almost forgot. We are also, well, we, I was also gifted this shirt. And I should wear it. It says, in my mom era, which I am. I think that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I just, I was just hoping to show you all the clothes, but there's just so much that I don't know where to start and stop. <laughs> so if you guys want to see like a clothing haul, let me know. And if you're curious about pictures of my baby shower, they're over on my Instagram. And a lot of these things I'm gonna link in my bio as well. So you guys can reference those. Hopefully next time my nursery will be all done and you guys can have a peek at that. And I'm so excited. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.